Hi, welcome to Processing Payments in Dynamics Nav. This video will show you how to process incoming and outgoing payments, enter and post manual checks, manage checks, and how to void a check. Let's start by looking at incoming payments. This diagram shows different scenarios and when it would be best to apply payments manually or automatically. The first question that we should ask is, is the payment initiated by us or by the customer? Then we should ask, do we enter the payment manually or can we use a file to import? If we enter it manually, then we can use the payment registration and the payment reconciliation function. Now with the payment registration, we will always apply manually. With the payment reconciliation, we can apply manually or automatically. If we import files so the payment is still initiated by the customer who we'll receive, for example, a bank file, then we can use the payment reconciliation. And similarly, we can also apply manually or automatically. Now in some cases, it might be, it, it might be possible that we have to initiate the payment, such as with direct debit collections. So with direct debit collections, you will see that the system will always apply automatically. This is important for incoming payments, which are payments initiated by us or by the customer. And based on that, you can see the different functions that we can use in NAV. Now, if we do the same thing for outgoing payments, the first thing that we should determine is whether we should enter payments manually and ask if we have paid a vendor manually with a check or use the suggest vendor payments function. So if we enter manually, then there's a possibility to pay by file, by check, or by other. Other ways of paying vendors include a wire transfer. And then we can use the reconciliation journal. If we use the suggest vendor payments function, we can pay by file, by check, or by other. But that's something that we will then initiate by using the payment journal and later putting a posting on it. In this section, I'll be showing you how to enter and post manual checks. So I'm going to go into the payment journals, which can be found under the finance section of Dynamics Nav. And then I'm going to select the bank WWB operating. I'm going to put in the posting date as February 16, 2018. For document type, I'm going to pick a payment. And then for document number, I'll put in 2000. The account type would be a vendor, and the account number would be vendor number 10,000, which is London Postmaster. And then I'm going to scroll to the right to put an amount of 500. For bank payment type, it could be a computer check, a manual check, or an electronic payment. The electronic payment option allows you to send electronic payments to vendors and electronic refunds to customers. But in this case, I'll be picking a manual check. Then I'm going to click Apply Entries on the ribbon here. And then I'm going to click Set Applies to ID. To post this journal entry, I'll click on Post on the ribbon. So if I go into Bank Accounts and then select WWB Operating, under the Navigate tab, I can click on Check Ledger Entries. And from here, I can see check number 2000 and the entry that I just posted. Another way to issue a check is by using the Suggest Vendor Payment function, which can be found by going into the Payment Journal. You can use this function to suggest various payments to vendors, such as payments that will be due soon or payments where a discount is available. The payment suggestion can take into consideration an amount that you specify as available funds for payment and eligibility for payment discounts. And then I'm going to go back into WWB Operating and select Suggest Vendor Payment. So from here, I'll put the last payment date as February 28, 2018. For balancing account type, I'll pick a bank account. And then for bank account, balancing account number, it'll be WWB Operating. The bank payment type in this case would be a computer check.
So now the system will automatically create lines which would suggest to pay with computer checks. In this section, I'm going to be talking about another important component of check management, which is voiding checks. The void checks function is something that can be handy when you've made a mistake or you want to correct them. For example, if you wanted to print a check and there was a problem with the printer and you needed to now print, reprint the check, the best way to go about doing this is to void the check. I can void a single check or all checks, which means that the system will change the status of the check so that I can reprint it. There are two ways that you can go about voiding a check. The first one is from the payment journal. So I'm going to click on WWB operating. From here, we can see a listing of all the payment journals that was paid through a computer check. So I'm going to pick one. And in the top ribbon right here, I can click void check. Another scenario is you may need to void checks after payments are posted. For example, a manual check has been refused by the bank, so then I would need to void a check. But in this case, this is a financial void because payment has been posted. We would also like to reverse that already posted check entries, for example. So we can do that by going into WWB operating, which I'm now on. And then I'm going to search for the check ledger entries function. And then I'm going to select one of the payments that we just did. I'm going to go into the Navigate tab and hit Void Check. So from here, I can specify if I only want to void the check or suppose that you already paid the vendor in cash, so there's no repayment that's required anymore, then I could just void it. But you could also unapply and void the check. So the bank refused the check, which means that we need to repay the vendor again. In that case, I would need to also unapply. Doing this would reverse the financial transaction. And then I'm going to select yes. So this is how you can process payments, manage, and void checks in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.